hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so this video is just the continuation of my previous video where we learned that how we can export the filtered data to multi-sheet excel okay and in this video we will learn that how we can trigger that process from this interface and can pass the value to filter against from this interface to my process model okay in case you haven't watched my previous video please go and watch it before watching this video i'll also mention the link of my previous video in the description okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video all right so i will be triggering that process using a bank start process function okay so first let us understand why do we use this function so it is typically used when you want to allow users to manually start a process such as on a click of button or link okay so when a button is clicked it calls a start process to initiate the desired process all right first i would want to have an icon right next to this ear field on click of which it should clear the filter okay and i will be doing that using a bank detect display field which comes handy when we want to include formatted text bullet points or hyperlinks icon should be removed okay here you can see this and I have to make it clickable so we'll use link and we'll make use of dynamic link in Appian we use dynamic link when we need to create a hyperlink that dynamically changes based on certain conditions or user inputs all right so as soon as user clicks on this my bad there is something wrong okay save into it should be a bank save yeah so as soon as user clicks on this it is gonna nullify this ear field okay but i only want the user to click this when i have some data in this ear field okay why do i want them to click it unnecessarily so i'll just use if condition over here if a bank is null or empty local ear if local ears are null or empty then it's not going to be any link okay I'm passing null to this else it should be a link good so here you can see it's not a link and as soon as I pass some data in this field it becomes a link right but it's not aligned properly we need to align it okay we will use list of rich text icon okay to bring it a little down okay a bang which text icon using care of 10 to insert a line break between these two rich text icons yeah now it looks perfect cool now if i click this it is gonna make it null i'll just format the code and configure button layout which will trigger my process model okay primary buttons a bank button widget here i have to provide the icon which should be download and then in save into parameter i'm going to use a bank start process okay process model okay the process model which you want to trigger i have already created a constant for that which points to this process model okay we'll be making use of this constant using cons domain cons as pm done and then we have process parameters so process parameters allow us to pass data from interface to a desired process model before passing any process parameter you have to make sure that if you have that particular process variable configured as parameterized for which you want to pass the data from interface to process model so i want to pass the value of this local year from my interface to process model so for that i will have to create a process variable right head on to this variable tab and click on add variable name your process variable as year which should be number integer okay and it has to be parameterized if you want to allow other processes to pass the data to this process model okay here we have this filter where we are hard coding the value right see we are hard coding the value as 2020 so here i will be replacing it with the process variable which i have just created it is gonna pass the input data of this field to this value parameter okay and this should only be applicable when the value of pv year is not null or empty 
okay because we have this equals to parameter and let's say if we don't pass any value to this pv here if we are not filtering the data and just triggering the process it is going to fail so this should only be applicable when the value of pv here is not null or empty if it is null or empty it will not apply any filter to my data okay also if you want to start it from the interface make sure that your nodes are properly activity chained okay and now we are good to save and publish our changes it's not going to suggest any process parameter so be mindful of whatever you pass as a process parameter should exactly match with the process variable name for which you want to pass the data from interface to process model okay so it's always recommended to copy the name of your process variable and then paste it over here to avoid any error so we'll be mapping this process parameter with local year okay and then we have on success so once it is a success what i'm going to do i'm going to bring the data back from process model to my interface okay using a bank save so here my target is gonna be i'll declare a local variable i want the document id back to my interface okay so we'll declare a local variable for that and we'll be saving that document id in this local variable local document this is gonna be my target and by using process info i can get the generated document which i'm storing in a process variable to my interface fp bank process info okay dot pv because it's a pv right i want to get the value of a process variable so dot pv dot the name of your pv so i'll just copy this name and paste it over there here i can see this button i'll just provide the tooltip as well to avoid any confusion this is for generate document so once this button is clicked it is gonna store that document in my appian environment and then i will have another button to download that generated document on my system but in the third column layout i will use card layout use this text display field to show that icon okay this icon should be download okay but seems like it is taking up the whole space of this column layout so we'll align this to the right side okay right and have to decrease the width of this in here in columns layout we'll use width parameter extra narrow works like a charm we'll also increase the size of this icon size should be medium i'll make this card layout clickable okay using link parameter link we use document download link to download any document onto a system which is available in our appian environment i have to provide the document which i am storing in this local variable right to doc local document okay that's done now it's clickable as you can see here and this button layout should only be shown when local document is null or empty okay show when a bank is null or empty local document let's say i have downloaded a document which contains filtered data as soon as i clear my filter it should also nullify this document okay which i don't need anymore so on click of this icon i am going to nullify this local document okay using another a bank save local document and make it null cool and there is another scenario which we need to capture let's say uh, i have filtered my grid where the year is 2020 okay now i have generated the document and downloaded it on my system but instead of clicking this icon user has just cleared it like this like by clicking backspace okay so in that case it is gonna bring the entire data in my read only grid but this variable will still hold my document which i have generated and it will not make it nullify because i haven't clicked on this icon 
so if user interacts with this text field i am also going to save null value okay in local document so now let's try to test this test it i want to filter my grid where the year is 2022 okay so here i have one row of data i'm going to generate the document and now i can see this button using which i can download that generated document on my system okay i'll just click this see it has been generated now let's see if it has exported the filter data or not it has exported the filter data 2022 in employee sheet right so now let's try to clear this filter by not clicking this icon but by just using backspace see now i can see this button for generating my document because i have interacted with this field and cleared the filter i am making document variable null just to restrain user from downloading the previous generated document as after clearing the filter there are four items in the grid and if i don't make the document variable null there are high chances that user would end up downloading the previous generated document which could create confusion now let's try to filter it again where the year is 2024 okay i'll generate it i have this button to download but this time i'm not going to download it on my system but going to clear the filter using this icon now you can see it has made this variable null and i can see the button again to generate my document okay so i think it's working as expected if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye